Oh man, so here's the subject to talk about, PDMs. What's a PDM? It's a power distribution module. Okay, so we realized uh, after we watched the video that we recorded talking earlier that it's possible we might have confused people with the term PDM or power distribution module. Correct. Is that PDM is a broad term that can de describe any appliance that you put in your motorcycle that distributes power. That could be a fuse block, that could be a solid state PDM, like the Moto Gadget M unit that we were talking about. It could be, it could be multiple things. Uh, in the reference or in the instance of this video, what we're really talking about is a PDM referring specifically to electronically powered solid state uh, power distribution modules. Uh, so we just wanted to clarify that, make sure everybody understands. When we say PDM, we're talking about that, not fuse blocks, which kind of do the same thing. Same thing. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Sort of. They've, they've served the same purpose. They're, they're just, just they, not smart. They, they're just not as smart. They do it in different ways. Mm -hmm. One's kind of like the uh, uh, someone using a drill to put a hole in a piece, and one's like using a CNC mill. Yeah. yeah. Very, one's very just different. fancy. One's fancy. Anyway. Yeah, anything you want to add to that? No, it sounds just about right. Yeah. yeah, power distribution module could mean multiple things. Anything that distributes power, right? So, but in our context, like Alan said, we refer to the Moto Gadget M unit as a PDM, yeah. and we refer to fuse blocks as fuse blocks just because that's what they've been called forever. Yeah. So why not? So anyway, back to the video. Please let us know if you have questions. Thanks. The power distribution module we're looking at here happens to be the Moto Gadget M unit but there are different kinds of PDMs out there. This is just the only one out there that we know that has every feature specifically catered to the motorcycle crowd. Now, the question is, why do you want a PDM? That's a great question. And the answer is complex. <laughs> the answer <laughs> really? is complex. Yeah. From what we've found out is a lot of people don't know really why they want it or what it does or what they need it for. They just want it because it's a cool piece of kit. Yeah, and I get it. Yeah. Like, I want one too, but I don't need one because my bike doesn't need one. So let's talk about what these things actually do and what they're good for to see if you even really need it or not. For this bike, for example, this is getting all the stuff, license plate light, tail light, brake light, all that stuff. So if you're using all those things, this is a good thing to have because then you're getting rid of a lot of fuses. The fuse is essentially a small piece of contained wire Power that spike. is designed, if there's a short on a wire, to burn out before the wire burns out. Now, with a PDM, you don't have a piece of wire that burns. You've literally got a solid state piece of technology that when it senses that load going too high where the fuse would otherwise burn out, it just turns the power off. So if the wire between this and the license plate light that I'm looking at here gets a short, it's rubbed on the frame, then this thing would turn a light on and kill the power to the license plate light. Once you fix the short, the light goes off and it turns it right back on again. Now that's way easier than pulling your seat off and then having to replace that fuse. That superiority is pretty cool. It gets rid of fuse block. It's more reliable. And the fact that you don't have to use a test light to see which one it is, a little light comes on to let you know where the problem is. And with Bluetooth technology, which is a feature or an option on some of these, you can pull your phone out and it can be like, hey, your license plate light has a short. They're nice to use if you're completely, like we talked about, modifying your motorcycle, hiding things, getting rid of the fuse box. You can put it anywhere you want. This bike has been completely rebuilt. This is, you know, a freshly powder coated, custom modified frame. So you might as well go in there and rewire the damn bike. You're already there. You're already there. Yeah, you're, yeah. Gonna, you're gonna add a lot of reliability to the system. Exactly. So yeah, a PDM is the obvious choice for this bike. You've talked about modern upgrade for a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Understand this, that a brand new 2020 BMW blah, blah, blah doesn't have a PDM. It has a fuse box. And that's okay for a period of time, but once you're talking about a wear on a system, that's not so desirable anymore compared to what this is. But let's say that you had a brand new Factory Triumph, or even say a 2010 Factory Triumph. Generally a pretty reliable bike, unless you're having really bad electrical problems because someone's gone in and hacked it up and messed it up, you don't really need to rewire the bike. If you're wanting to upgrade or, or move into something like this as far as simplifying your wiring and you do have a new bike, do some research and kind of take into consideration the things that you may not need or hey, maybe I'm getting into this thing that I actually don't even need and it's gonna cost three times as much as I thought it was gonna be because this bike 
is full of all the bells and whistles. Really, in summary, what we're really saying is you really need to make sure that what you need is a PDM and that you're getting the right PDM. Don't just assume that you need to do all this. Having said that, if what you're looking for is to learn how to do all of it, stay tuned, there's more coming. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.